hey there scorpios and welcome back for another scorpio love reading in this joyous june energy uh this is a different day i did all my readings the same day that i had on this cute little outfit <laughs> i got the little shrimp the little fringes and things and stuff <laughs> So I decided to go on and get these readings out the way with because I may be taking a couple of days off. So I'm just trying to get caught up, Scorpios. But we're going to tap into your new oil. And shout out to everybody who was able to be a part of the live. Uh, Y'all, I'm sorry that you're not getting your notifications here. Now, I was under the impression that because that's what they keep saying. You got to make sure your post notification bill is set to all in order to get notified. And now you guys are saying that your notification bill is set to all, yet you're still not receiving your notification. So Scorpio is just one of those things. So you really have to, I guess you have to look for me. Uh, but I'm here, Scorpio. I am here. So once again, shout out to everybody who was able to catch the live. I appreciate you guys coming up, uh, showing up, because you could have been doing anything with your time, but you decided to spend time with brown eyes. So I appreciate you guys so much. So a uh, shout out to all of my beautiful, amazing, highly favorite Tarot Question Scorpios, my members, my supporters. You don't even have to be a member to support me because you are a subscriber. That support too. Uh, I appreciate you thumbing up this video because <laughs> look, I don't even know if the thumbs up help because they say if you hit the notification bell to all, you're going to get notified. So I guess the thumbs up really don't matter either. I don't know, y'all. Look, I don't know, Scorpio, but uh, if you do, if this video does resonate, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel here. Uh, thank you so much for your support. If you're new, I am Brown Eyes here of Brown Eyes Intuitions here, and it's all about the Scorpios over here. This here is Scorpio's kingdom, okay? Uh, you can't go wrong over here as long as you come right. Uh, where we elevate, heal, um, tap into our higher self side so that we can uh, live in this soul's journey and experience how the good side of life lives. The good side of karma is what Scorpio is striving for here. Because it's, it's all about a lesson here, Scorpio. There's no losses. When you're really connected spiritually, you know that there are no losses here. What is for you is for you and you're going to get it. And it may be, take a little longer. You might have to go through some obstacles because that's what this life gives us is obstacles. But I feel like you're going to come out just like, look, you guys. All right. All right. All right. All right, spirit. But keep in mind, Scorpio, this is a general. It's not going to resonate for everybody, though, okay? Uh, so also, if you like, please feel free to join the Scorpios members over here, as well as I am also now on Patreon. So if you're a Patreon person and you want to uh, follow Brown Eyes Intuitions, then by all means, you can join me over there, too. Music healing here. See? Focus here. Spirit is telling you about the focus here. Speak your truth. Sometimes you got to speak it. Sometimes, you know, people be hiding their feelings and hiding their motives and stuff, and they just want it to be just like a big old fat elephant in the room all the time. But sometimes they say your truth will set you free here. Sometimes you have to speak your truth here, Scorpio, in order for you to be free. Or maybe someone is coming into you uh, to speak some type of truth to you here. Wow, Scorpio, music healing. So you got focus. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Focus here, Scorpio. I feel like it depends on what you are focusing on, okay? Now, you can't be wanting some good, but you're focusing on the bad. Ooh, it look like a heart, don't it? See, it looks like, it looks like your world. It looks like Spirit said that you can have the whole world. You got the whole world wrapped around your heart, Scorpio, is what Spirit said here. See? The focus here. Now, maybe you got some, maybe you got some higher ups that are watching you, Scorpio. Maybe you got some higher power looking down after you. Maybe you've caught the attention of your spirit ancestors and your spirit guides, or maybe you've caught the eye of someone here very important here, or maybe spirit is telling you about your focus. Music healing here. So I feel like now is a good time to tap into music here, Scorpio, because it does bring healing. But it de depends on the type of music that you're listening to. Now, you can't be listening to no no old uh, sad, <laughs> like the real sads where the dog done left and, and, and <laughs> even the dog done left with the person and, you know, all those things like that. Now, you got you to gotta listen to something that's going to elevate your energy and going to raise your vibration here, Scorpio. So I feel like spirit is talking about enhancing your vibration by tapping into that energy through music here. Uh, and also, I feel like the most important thing is patience. See, that card is coming back out again. Make sure I'm shuffle. Patience. Speak your truth. Adventure. We say patience. I'm going to get another one. 
All right, spirit, and patience here. Because like I said, Scorpio, with this card last time here that I saw, you are planted firmly here. You see your roots? Your roots are planted. Fer you got fertility because you know what rabbits represents? A multiplying here. I see increase. There's increase. You got the earth. See, there's increase in your roots. Your roots are growing and they're stable. They're, it's like you are planted stable here, Scorpio, is what I hear. You're, you're planted stable here. And like I said here, now either your focus is on the right thing that's getting you in this energy, or maybe you got something focusing on you, Scorpio. I see that too. I see that big old eye. Now we know that old powerful eye, that eye is sent from above. And I feel like this is up above energy here. It's almost like, so above or uh, so below, you got the earth, you got the spiritual realms here. You got the above and you got the below here. It's almost like spirit is trying. For some of you guys, uh, music is a way to channel and manifest here. And music helps you channel the uh, spiritual things to bring the spiritual things down that you can alchemize them or transform them into to receiving your uh, earthly things. Because, you know, you have to be able to tap in spiritual. That's what manifesting is. Isn't that what your visualizations, your mantras and all those things like that? Those are forms of manifesting something here, too. Now, that's spiritual. So you're taking the earthly things as above and you bringing it down here with you on the earthly things. So below. So I feel like spirit is telling some of you guys music is a good way to get your earthly things to you. It's a good way to connect you because it's going to bring you so much power. See? So much power. You got so much power. See? Abundance. See? Oh, see, <laughs> I told you, see, 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 if you listen to your intuition, it's what it's all, there go that eye again, there go that eye again, Scorpio, see, there go that, I see, a uh, see, a uh, see, see, see that spirit say you're about to be very, very powerful here, Scorpio, because you're about to tap into a spiritual realm that's going to bring you your earthly blessings here. Now, let's see what this focus is right quick. We're going to we'll check out. Focus, music, healing, and power here. All right, number 20 card, which is two. Came right to it. Look, look at God. <laughs> okay, it says everything. Now, they, they finna help you to this because this is the new uh, Nolan's here. Nolan's Oracle deck here by Fatima. Nolan's here. Yeah, Nolan's, Nolan's focus here. Okay, it says, Scorpio, everything is energy, including your thoughts. Think of your thoughts as uh, different cars driving by. You have somewhere that you need to travel to, and you have the choice of any vehicle that passes. Would you want to get into every car, or would you select the one that seems the best uh, equipped to get you to your destination? Every thought, Scorpio, can be a step either towards forward movement or stagnation. Scorpio, if this car came up in your reading, which it did, it is because you must pay attention to where you allow your focus to lead your thoughts. Being aware of where you put your energy mentally and emotionally will enable you to create a more self-empowered. That's why you got the MNF and power card. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Journey. It is time to not only realize that you have a choice about where you focus your energy, Scorpio, but to also see how those thoughts are affecting your energy. See? See, Scorpio, if you're thinking negative, you're going to start feeling bad about everything, honey. I'm telling you, that's, that's why it's so important here. It's the same energy. It's like that switch. You can either turn it up or you can turn it down, turn it off or turn it on. You can choose the left, choose the right. You can choose forward. You can choose back. You can choose up. You can choose down. What spirit is telling you is that if you ever find yourself in a negative, cloudy way, you don't have to stay in that now. You're going to stay in that if you choose to stay in there. Spirit is telling you, you have the power. You don't have to stay in no funk, Scorpio, is what Spirit is saying. Get out of it easily by thinking of something. Like I always use, go watch your funny video. Go watch your good old comedy. I'm telling you, you got to keep that vibration up. This is probably why music is in here. So let's see music. It says music healing here. Music healing here. Number four. 11, 11, number four, music healing here, because music is very healing, ain't it? 
Oh my God. I remember when on Sunday mornings, and I also remember when my mama had gotten sick here and she was in the hospital and all my, all my sisters used to play for her was the Clark sisters. And when I tell you, when you used to hear them Clark sisters sing, it just changed the whole freaking atmosphere. Oh my God, y'all, I'm just telling there is a bomb in Gilead. 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 Oh my God, we were bumping. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> the Clark Sisters was it for my mama. Okay, Kim Burrell. I looked at the uh uh um uh the, the Hawkins singers. That that's what my that's what I grew up on, okay? That's what I grew up on. But music, man, there's something about that music that just touch your soul. Think about the times when you in church here. You could be having a horrible day and you go in there and they get to singing them church, them spirituals, and you get, look now, no, look, I know some of y'all that got filled with the Holy Ghost and you've been in there bucking and shouting and speaking in time. I ain't judging. That's what I grew up in. But it's something about the music that is healing if you put the right music on. You can't go, look, you can't go to the club and all you playing is slow, sad music. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to hook up. <laughs> Nobody's getting lucky that night. I'm just saying. <laughs> Everybody going to be sneaking, trying to call their exes. <laughs> oh, I heard a rap song saying that somebody was in the clubs crying over their ex. <laughs> Up, you're up telling you, boy, when your emotions is caught up, you just never know. You, oh, you just never know. So music healing for my beautiful Scorpios. It says, Scorpio, there is healing in and through music for you. Music can be one of the greatest healing um, modalities available to us. With or without words, the, uh, the melodies and rhythm Reach deep into your soul to create inspiration and excitement, healing and release. If you have chosen this card today, Scorpios, the universe is urging you to spend some time in a musical environment. Whether you create the music, dance to the music, or just listen to it, bring in the musical energy. Uh, being in the musical energy will help attune your vibration to the highest good for the next steps of your life. And that's how come I'm always singing, honey. <laughs> Man, I'm always singing, Scorpio, because it's just, it's almost like your soul is purging itself. Because believe it or not, this has everything it needs to sustain itself. When you feel overburdened by the world, you better either dance, sing, laugh, go do something. But singing, I ain't nobody say you got to be a professional. I don't care if I can't sing. If I feel it in my soul, I'm going to sing. Because you know what that does for you? It releases the negativity and it brings in the positivity, Scorpio. And then you be around here just humming to the own rhythm of your own beat. And then nobody can steal your sunshine then Scorpio see there you got to set the you got you got to set the atmosphere for for what you're trying to bring in because you got some abundance coming now you have power here power 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 see there and that's the number one. Oh, that's the number one too see look how ferocious you are you you look like you ain't playing no goddamn me games <laughs> And as mean as you are, they still want your mean self. <laughs> they say, oh, no, nah, man, you know mean what's in. Now, you know mean is the best love of the mean ones. <laughs> oh, snap. They said the mean ones is the best one, Scorpio. Are like, you mean? So that's Marie Laveau here. Laveau Laveau. Marie Laveau Laveau was the epitome of power and grace within the community of New Orleans. Not only was she known as an astute businesswoman, but she was also the go-to person for the spiritual remedies of everyday life. And I guarantee you, Scorpio, you, you are thought of like that. You know, people think about stuff when, when they when they think about spirituality and emotional things, they're going to think about Scorpio. <laughs> They're, they're going to say you weird, but it's something about you that is so magnetic, Scorpio. They can't get enough of you. <laughs> so it says, if you have drawn this card today, Scorpio, you have been called to embrace 
all aspects of yourself and to rise to every occasion with confidence. You are so much more than the mundane daily task that often bog you down. New opportunities will help you explore the different ways you can express yourself and feel more fulfilled because you got, you got to be patient. But like I say, you got abundance coming. So you're going to be so full of your happiness. You, you're going to be in, enveloped in it. Look, look, look at that. See there? Like I say, some you covered here. You see how you see Scorpio. Do you see how covered you are? Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio, that you are covered and that the Most High sees all things. That's why Spirit is surrounding you with all the things that you need because the Most High sees everything and you are covered, Scorpio. You see that, don't you? You see that? What is for you is for you. Can't nobody take it. This has got your name under this cup. Say Scorpio cup, God dang it. <laughs> but like I said, I feel like your intuition is about to be heightened. For some of you Scorpios, if not all of you Scorpios, music is going to heighten your intuition because you're going to start tapping into music uh, from a spiritual perspective and you're going to start getting downloads and then you're going to start getting the messages and you're going to start getting the answers to your own relationship, Scorpio. I'm telling you, music is here to sing to uh, the universe this way of talking to you in such a chaotic uh, demanding life because let's keep it real it's very chaotic it's very demanding uh, everything it seems like everything and everyone needs your attention so it seems like sometimes that you may feel like you don't even have time for yourself so that's why you have to you got to make time <laughs> you got to make time to be happy Scorpio sometimes you do Look, I see this King of Wands. And now, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of fire energy going on in y'all life here. King of Wands, the Fool card. Some of y'all dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here. Now, you may be in some type of heartbreak situation, or maybe this person is heartbroken over you. Mm. Maybe they are Scorpios. Maybe they're listening to sad love songs. Somebody may be listening to some freaking sad love songs here, Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. Now, I feel like if you're working hard on something, Scorpio, you got some abundance coming in. Or uh, maybe Spirit is saying it's time to work on yourself here. Work on yourself, Scorpio. Like, oh, you got the lovers card. Ooh, Gemini energy. I've seen a lot of Scorpios in the comment section of my live talking about them Geminis here. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups. They go to Eight of Cups again. I tell you what, once Scorpio leaves the room, the party is no more. <laughs> they might as well go and turn the lights on. <laughs> Start unplugging stuff because the party over. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. There you go with that two of cups and the uh, hermit card. Someone is watching you. Look at that. Somebody online watching you. Could have somebody here who feels like they are somebody. It's like you got somebody mesmerized here. They can't stop. Why somebody's investigating you, checking up on you. Could be another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or could be a Virgo here. It could be somebody here who you haven't heard from, but they're low key keeping tabs on you, Scorpios. So the overall energy is the wheel of fortune. Is that you on a good side? Now, see, you could be up here with your little old hoochie mama skirt on. Yeah, I remember the hoochie mama. <laughs> if you want you a hoochie woman, then I can be a hoochie man. <laughs> Y'all hear that song? <laughs> oh, he's talking to his woman's old blues song. And he said his woman out here acting like a hoochie woman, a hoochie mama. He said, if you're going to be out here being a hoochie mama, I can be a hoochie man. <laughs> Scorpio. He said, mine. <laughs> For real, that's what the song says. Say, if you want to be a hoochie mama, then I can be a hoochie mine. That's what he says. Somebody out here trying to be a hoochie mine. <laughs> uh, regardless of who trying to be a hoochie. <laughs> You got the will of fortune here. Now you could be all up here trying to be a hoochie mama. They trying to they trying to keep up. <laughs> look at them holding on to you. They they watching you. Look at look. You may you may have outgrown someone here, and now they're they're beneath you now. Uh, trying to peek into your life, trying to hope that you look down at them. See, look at them. What is he saying? Look, he like look. Scorpio, Scorpio, help, 
help. Somebody is watching you. Somebody is going to watch you, Scorpio. Somebody has to watch you be happy because I feel like something is turning around here. Uh, duck, uh, luck and destiny is on your side. Good fortune is here. You remember we just saw abundance here. See, somebody here is, is, is about to see you. Somebody's about to see you, Scorpio. Like, I feel like somebody already seeing you. Like I said, you got eyes on you, Scorpio. And some of these eyes may be somebody here who <laughs> wish they did you better. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Somebody may be hoping that they did you better. Because just imagine, Scorpio, if you're able to get into that energy where you are in this uh, 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 power energy, uh, Madame L L Lavelle here, what was the name? If you're in that energy, Scorpio, where you are focusing on positive things and positive things only, if you're tapping into uh, spiritual things that's going to enhance your growth that can make your manifestation come quicker, then like I say, you're going to have a lot of people that you're going to be distancing from. This is people, when, when folks is in the dark, they don't like to be around the light, Scorpio, I'm telling you. And like I said, a lot of people are going to be looking up at you, wishing that they could ride with you. But if they haven't did that spiritual work, spirit said they can't go with you. Mm. See, I told you. Queen of Cups, now look at here. <laughs> oh, snap. They can't keep their eyes off of you. Can't keep their eyes off of you, Scorpios, here. I see the two of wands. I see the five of wands here. Now, you may have multiple people checking you out at this time. You may have someone wanting to come in here. Could be someone on your job here, Scorpio. Could be someone looking at you like, um, I don't know, somebody may feel like you may be something special that, that they may need to get to know. And then it just could, just, just could represent that maybe you are observing someone. Maybe you're feeling like, look, it's time now. I'm ready for love. Uh, where you at? <laughs> With the page of swords. More, you want more than that? Ace of wands. I see the eight of cups in the reverse here. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. Mm. <laughs> Ace of cups. And once again, that king of wands. See? So some of y'all dealing with the fire sign here. They're watching you, those Scorpios. Or maybe you're trying to keep tabs on them. But I feel like they they may be watching you because crowning this King of Wands is this um, Page of Swords. Crowning the Ace of Cups is the Queen of Cups. Crowning the Ace of Wands is the Will of Fortune. So like I said, maybe someone is changing their mind here. Maybe things are... Or, or, uh, fate is intervening. Destiny, the will is turning. Uh, if someone had power and control over a situation, maybe things are about to turn around in your favor. Or, or, or somebody here who didn't want something, maybe they finally want something. Let's see, Spirit. Show me Scorpios. The lover's card. Mm. Lover's card I want to come out. Maybe somebody had to make up their mind. Got this king of wands. You know how that king of wands get down. Oh, you got justice. Libra energy. So somebody's wanted. You're about to get justice here, Scorpio. I see the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and the devil card. Ooh, and the seven of swords. <laughs> oh, my God. So someone's been taking stock here. Someone has probably been waiting. Somebody probably feel like they want to plant roots or someone may have felt like maybe, um, I feel like somebody wants to come in single after maybe they've gotten out. See, somebody was not being honest here. Maybe someone had an attachment in another situation here. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Eight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Fast moving energy, travel, communication, and stuff <laughs> and things, okay? Mm, I see death. Death. Underneath the bottom, Ten of Cups. And the freaking Tower card. Ooh, you got the devil. You got, and the, look, there go the Aries energy again. Oh, snap. What's going on here? Something coming down. Now, see? <laughs> you see how you showing all up here? What you got going on? 
See that like I like I always say, people got to meet Scorpio like they about to take prescriptions drugs with the uh, uh, sad effects attached or the warnings. People have to have the warnings with you, okay? <laughs> Especially if they come in with some mess, Scorpio. It's almost like it never fails here. And you ain't even got to be with this person. You don't have to witness what happens here because you got justice and the will of fortune. You don't even have to physically witness this. Just know that Anytime you're sending someone's life is to bring about a positive change for them. But a lot of times you be meeting people because they need to change something in their life and whatever mess that they're dealing with that they need to change, it's, it's, it's affecting you. So by them uh, bringing their toxicity around you or their lack of change here around you and you end up getting hurt, this ends up happening. See? They end up can't handle it because, like I said, it always, it always backfires. Things always end dramatically here or there's always some type of major disruption in someone's life to bring about a change. It's almost like you can take it. You, you, can, take, you can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. I feel like Scorpio's always tried to do things the easy way and just bring in some, help somebody with some type of change in their life through love here. But most of the time you're dealing with somebody here who is egotistical. You know, they think it's all about them. Uh, and with the lover's card, I probably feel like somebody here who have commitment issues. But it's almost like they breaking hearts while they doing it. You know what I'm saying? I was like somebody breaking hearts while they doing it. See? I see that queen of wands. Somebody breaking hearts while they do it. So as a result of that, now they're going to have to, they're going to have to deal with something now, Scorpio. See? Death and Scorpio here. Ooh. Wow, they just got interesting. Like I said, underneath the bottom, we got the Ten of Cups and the Tower card and the Three of Swords. So I feel like something else is going on over here that may be ending. This is what I see. Some Somebody may be ending another connection. You got the King of Wands. See underneath the bottom, we got the Ten of Cups, the Tower, Three of Swords. It's almost like something is coming down with the situation here, perhaps. That's causing a third party here. Maybe it's because somebody was out here being loose. You know what I'm saying here? Um, dang, but you got the eight of pentacles here. You got this queen of wands. Here. Oh, then you got the lovers in the reverse and you got the eight of cups. See, something going on. <laughs> it's dealing with another person. There's another person in this energy, Scorpio, is what I'm trying to say. Like I say, you got this queen of wands. Now, they could be looking at you like you're the queen of wands. You could have been trying to come at them like the queen of cups, loving and nurturing, but they was like, uh-uh, I'm the king of wands. You be the queen of wands. That's all we need between us. You know what I'm saying? Why you trying to offer them love, but they just wanted to play. So once again, when I saw the eight of cups, they must have caused you to have to walk away from them, Scorpio. Now, this person is experiencing tower moments in their life because this was going to bring about a change for them. And that's what I see so far. You got the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And you got your lovely bold energy, which is death. Your major arcanas is the Will of Fortune, Justice, and Death. You got Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Taurus. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Yeah. See? You got the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And you have this page of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. You got justice with Libra. <laughs> oh, snap, snap, snap. Now, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm. Somebody here. Mm. See, justice again. All right, Spirit, what's going on here for Scorpios? Call. This, this is your end of the month bonus love reading, Scorpios. End of the month love reading. End of the month bonus love reading. How can I say middle? It's the 20th. We got how many more days? 10 more days. <laughs> we can say the end. I guess it's safe to say end, huh? <laughs> or just say freaking bonus. <laughs> All right, Spirit. Ooh, Scorpio, I can't believe this. See there? Some of y'all fell in love with somebody here who was already with somebody, okay? 
Because you're showing up at the Queen of Cups. All right. Let's see. Scorpio, this is a general in case I didn't tell you, so it's not going to resonate for every single Scorpio, okay? So let's start off at the bottom. Now let's start off at the top. Will of Fortune, Queen of Cups, Page of Swords. I feel like someone may be looking, see how the hand of cards is, is sitting here on the table. It's like you're, what, you're looking at destiny. You're looking ahead of what you have for yourself. But you got somebody looking at you. Your back is to them. It's like you're facing, you're facing your destiny. You're facing good luck. You're facing something else here. But someone else, it's like you, you're, turning your emotions to, you're turning away from your emotions towards somebody, but they're still engaging in you, but they're not getting your attention here. Somebody may be noticing that things have changed about you, Scorpios, that, that you may not be as um, open to them, as given. <laughs> Got the hangman, Pisces, energy underneath the bottom of the deck, and the page of wands, and the eight of swords. All right, Spirit, why is the wheel of fortune here for my Scorpio spirit? Clarify the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Seven of Cups, three, four, five, seven of Cups. Fantasies, illusions, karma. Someone could be receiving karma because maybe they had too many options. Maybe someone wasn't, ooh, got the emperor. And the 10 of Swords. Could be this person, the emperor, the 10 of Swords and the 10 of Pentacles, y'all. Now, for you, Scorpio, I feel like things are going to change for you. If you, For instance, maybe, maybe if you were an option, let's say if you were an option, something is about to change here. If someone may have looked at you lesser than, like I feel like they're going to start looking at you differently now. Because I feel like somebody's not in their higher selves now. Someone is in their ego's, ego here and they're feeling themselves. It's almost like somebody got a... Queen of Wands over here, they're, they're attached to this person on a physical level here, okay? It's like it's something about this connection here. But I feel like something is happening here. This person, you, this person, you may have felt like this person did you wrong. Okay, we're not going to do the reversals. See? You got the Wheel of Fortune. This person may be hoping things turn around. Seven of Cups, maybe there was an option. Maybe there was a choice here. Maybe this person's trying to do this, but they already know something is going to happen here. Look, this is like a betrayal. You got the 1010 here. So I feel like somebody else's situation is going because you, you, this is a wheel of fortune here. It may be changing things between you and your person because of what they may have going on. Now, I could represent that this person here maybe had us just, just too confused or maybe this person here was just not thinking sh straight here. Maybe this person felt, no, I feel like this, per maybe this person felt like they did you wrong because they didn't offer you this. Or maybe this person felt like they did you wrong because they already had this long-term relationship. I feel like for some of y'all, it's a situation that they have going on that's coming to an end. That's what I keep seeing, because once again, somebody trying to go to some happiness here, or this is what's going to make them happy. So we're going to stick with this. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups, and the Emperor. So you could be dealing with the Aries. Spirit, what's up with this Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio? Why is this Emperor here? That Emperor become, ooh, Knight of Cups. So if this person was confused about you, maybe this person was confused, okay? Like I say, maybe this person had other things going on, okay? And maybe they 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 couldn't figure out who they wanted because like I say, maybe maybe they couldn't see the forest for the trees, Scorpio's. Maybe they had too much going on. But I feel like this person's trying to come in here and offer you the cup of love because look, this Knight of Cups is facing this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Oh, they 
face and you, Scorpio. <laughs> they trying to see if their cup's still available. <laughs> oh, snap. They facing you. So, like, I feel like if somebody here who may have not been showing you the time and the energy and the attention you deserve because they had other options or other people who they chose to be with, Spirit say the will of fortune is going to put you back on top. God dang it. Spirit, why is the Queen of Cups here for Scorpios? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpios. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles here. Mm. I feel like this person didn't couldn't make up their mind, y'all. Like I said, they go to hangman here. But like I feel like this person, it's almost like this person couldn't figure out who they want, Scorpio. And that's what I feel like with this emperor here. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's your person here. Spirit, why is this Queen of Cups here with this Two of Pentacles? It's like this person, this page of swords. See? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten of, ten of wands. More fire energy here. <sighs> Maybe you're releasing being juggled from this person here, Scorpios. Six of swords, king of swords. So this is why it's complicated like this. I feel like somebody is saying that it is starting to become a bird and trying to juggle multiple things. Here's what, what is becoming a bird here. Here you are. You may want some type of here. You are may have wanted some type of emotional fulfillment, but I feel like they got another person over here and maybe they had to give in other ways here. Scorpios. Maybe somebody they work with with the Eight of Pentacles here. But it's almost like somebody's feeling like something is starting to be too much on them. Because see, you got the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Cups. It's almost like somebody may have bit off more than they can chew and now it's starting to take a toll on them. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Scorpios? Look, take with that Page of Swords again. So now somebody, look, you got the Page of Swords twice. The Page of Swords is facing the freaking Page of Swords, Scorpio. That's what I'm saying here. They're facing each other. Wait a minute. Hey, y'all. See? Maybe y'all spying on each other here. <laughs> I feel like y'all spying on each other, Scorpio. Y'all look, look y'all checking out each other here. Y'all trying to find out what the other one got going on here at this time, Scorpio, because I feel like y'all spying on each other here. Like I say, y'all looking at each other, y'all doing the same thing. So we got the Queen of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. And now it could be you saying, look here, this is becoming too much of a burden. I'm starting to feel juggle here after investigating. You could have started researching and spying and finding out things and you start coming to the conclusion that I don't like this. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much of an emotional burden on me as the Queen of Cups here. That could be it. And like I said, it could be them with this Two of Pentacles saying this is just too much. <laughs> Let me study them. Let me gather all the information and see who is the best one here. But if that's the case, then they don't know who they want to see because they're the three of ones and somebody's playing in their future. It's almost like somebody's trying to figure out who is the best one for them. But they got the page of swords again. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Spirit wants this other page of swords here for Scorpios. Page of swords. So you watching them and they watching you. See that? <laughs> oh, snap. See that? You watching them and you watching them. See? See? Told just another situation going on here. See? And they're watching you because they don't know what to do. You watching them. It's like <laughs> they want to come in. Like I say, that Knight of Cups is facing the Queen of Cups. But someone don't know what to do here, I feel like, because it's almost like they watching you. They're obviously in love with you. So maybe someone's about to have a breakthrough here. See, they go to nine of pentacles. This is what somebody's struggling with. Now, it could be somebody struggling whether or not they want to stay single so they can roam around and entertain other options. Or do they come on in and commit and settle down? See? <laughs> This this person, they're like, I don't know if I want this right now. <laughs> but I know you in that Queen of Cups. I know you want it, though, don't you? I know you want it. <laughs> That's what they mad at you. 
because they want to be out here in these hit streets and you want more. And they're like, I already know what you want, don't you? You, you want this, don't you? <laughs> but we ain't doing a reversal, see? <laughs> this is what this person, I feel like this person's making up their mind here. Cause like I said, got the page of swords, <laughs> page of swords, the two of cups, three of swords and the ace of swords is some type of clarity or truth, a breakthrough of uh, speaking your truth. Maybe this person is, is recognizing the truth. Maybe this person's finally realizing that maybe there is more of a connection between the two of you than they care to acknowledge or care about. Okay. Like I said, because I feel like this person was fighting like, what do, do I want this or do I want to do this? I mean, this is sexy, but this is, I don't know, you be trying to make me drink the cup so much. That's what I feel like they saying here, Scorpio. <laughs> but they show watching you, though, like I said, in Nine of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups underneath the bottom. So what's up with this King of Wands for Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries? Spirit, clarify the King of Wands for Scorpios. King of Wands is the world card. Now, I feel like you've already closed out a cycle. Or maybe this King of Wands is about to close out a, a chapter of their life. Maybe as being this King of Wands here, you know, where they are uh, all about the passion here, go get her, but uh, uh, passionately, you know, I call it my bachelor. Because I feel like that's a bachelor. I feel like somebody's been <laughs> throwing the bachelor cards here or change their, their ways because, look, they're causing heartbreak here. They just, this person that calls the Queen of Cups a heartbreak here, okay? Because they want to be a bastard, but they know this Queen of Cups want a relationship. Now, I feel like they were getting something out of it, but they wasn't probably giving anything back in. See? There it is, the two of wands. Somebody here is finally going to make up their mind what they want. They go to two of wands, and look, they go to that ace of wands again. And like I said, somebody going to get hurt. See? They go to that ten of pentacles again. See? All right, Spirit, what's up with this King of Wands and the World card for Scorpio? Could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius. All these are fixed energy. This is fixed, so y'all could be dealing with any stubborn energy like the Aquarius, the Leo, Scorpio, uh, or Taurus energy here. Very bullheaded, very stubborn here. So this person was extremely stubborn and set in their ways and very, very egotistical because they felt like they had that wand, so you couldn't tell them nothing here, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what's up with this King of Wands for Scorpio? Clarify the King of Wands. King of Wands. The Fool, is that the Fool? Page of Wands, see? I feel like this person's trying to grow up here, Scorpio. They finna put away all these little childish, immature. See, this is somebody here who's very, very immature. Somebody here who ain't looking for nothing. They just trying to have fun, live their best life. They ain't trying to live life like, like it ain't no, no tomorrow here. And they ain't trying to, <laughs> they, they pack light, okay? They packing very, very light because we saw the Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody here who's closing out this chapter of being very, very immature because they're realizing here, see? Because I feel like this had somebody, see? This is how they used to do theirs. And I feel like they used to keep a lot of people stuck on them too. But this person could have been stuck in the same pattern here. I feel like somebody, because you got the Wheel of Fortune. This is what's bringing change. Not to mention that Death card, and I feel like the Tower card. I feel like somebody had to make some changes here. Because somebody was stuck to their old way of doing things, and it wasn't serving them any good here. They didn't want to settle down. They just wanted to date multiple people. So now you find finding somebody over here who's trying to offer their cup of love, and you're breaking folks hard because you just, want, you just want to play. You ain't trying to take life serious. See, things change. People, some people do change. People can and do change, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, one more card for this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here for Scorpios? It came out anyway, the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person is saying, look here, I can't be, I can't sh <laughs> I can't share this with the whole world, okay? I'm going to have to end some things. I'm going to have to just settle down with the one person, with this one, because you got the Ace of Wands twice. I feel like somebody's realizing, I feel like you've ended things with this person. This person's realizing that they're going to have to make some change. They're going to have to grow up because they cause a heartbreak here, okay? And I feel like the hardest thing with somebody to do is to look at themselves and really be truthful and acknowledge that they were a problem here. Now you got the Ace of Wands again. Spirit, what's up? This, now let's, let's check out this Death card, your energy, Scorpios. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. Spirit, what's up with this Death card for Scorpios? 
death. See? <laughs> Now, either I feel like they're already closing out chapters in their life now. Like, I feel like this is you saying, uh uh, you done walked away, you done ended things with this person, Scorpio. No, that's them. That's what I was wondering. That's them. See, see, that's real. See, I'm, oh, see, thank you, Spirit. See, that's them ending it. They're ending things with other people, with the third party, Scorpio. I'm telling you. See? <laughs> you got death, eight of cups, and the freaking lover's card, see? And the freaking five of wands in the reverser. See, this person already knew that they put you in competition. And this person always had folks fighting for their attention. This is why they wasn't trying to settle down with you. But like I said, this person's in their party growing up because they're going from the page of wands. To the king of wands and now they're in this emperor energy because of destiny and fate and divine time and see this person is walking away from the conflict and the competition this person is walking away from the competition scorpio this is what it's saying they're in not only are they walking away they ain't got no feelings they're ending it and they're not even emotionally invested in it see lovers could be a gemini see that's what they're walking away from this is what I feel like they're doing because I feel like they want to come back to you. But they know that they broke your heart and they can't just come back any kind of way, okay? Once again, you got you, <laughs> death, and the four wands. See, now this is a transformation here. See? All right, now you have the eight of wands, fast-moving communication, travel, other things. Spirit, what's up with this eight of wands for Scorpios? Eight of Wands is, is it the Nine of Wands? Is the Nine of Wands? Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of Wands here. Eight of Wands, and some of y'all got this person blocked. Some of y'all got blocked communication from this person here because, and see, cause they, because they wasn't coming to you, right? And y'all knew that they was given somewhere else. See, they go to the King of Wands and the reverse of the Six of Pentacles. Some of y'all got this person blocked, Scorpios. Y'all got this person blocked. Same king, of, same king of wands here, Scorpios. Y'all got this person blocked, 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 blocked. But I'm not, okay, now don't take the reverse. Put the five of wands in the upright, put it back. King is the same king of rods and the six of pentacles. Some of you guys have blocked communication from this person because y'all already knew that this person was given out to other situations too, Scorpios. Because they have been trying or they're going to be trying to contact you or they're trying to get to you, Scorpios. And for some of y'all, they can't reach you through, through your phone. So they're looking at you because you see they're looking. See? They can't reach you through communication. So they're trying to find out. They may be asking around about you. I feel like this person know, already know that they called you hard. But that's how come they ain't going to be able to reach you. See? So don't be surprised if somebody say, you know, your ex asked me about you. I'm talking about, girl, he was asking me, he was asking me, he was like, girl, you can go and be, keep it real. Did she got somebody else? And I was like, dude, I don't know you. <laughs> Get a grip. I thought you didn't care about her. That's what she said. No, no, you got it. I'm just look. I don't know you. <laughs> Oh, snap. Yep. Because some of y'all been checking this person out, too. Like, I feel like this person's trying to come back in and offer you their cup of love. They're immature. It's not as big, but it's a start if they're sincere. Because your last card is the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Justice. Some of y'all dealing with the Libra. All right, Justice. Spirit, why is the Justice card here for Scorpio? Clarify Justice. Why is justice here, spirit? Justice is page of pentacles, some type of good news coming in. See, you're about to get justice here with the situation here, Scorpios. They go to fool cards. There's somebody here who couldn't make up their mind. Now they want to come in here and take this leap of faith. Now they want to come in here and do something they, they haven't done before here. Aries, you could be dealing with the Aries. All right, spirit, why is justice here for Scorpios? Six of Swords. See, somebody's going to give you justice for uh, manipulating the situation here. What else, Spirit, for justice here, Spirit? Or maybe this person's receiving karma. 
Mm, you're going to get justice for how they did you, Scorpio. That's what it is. Um, like I said, maybe this person's about to receive karma here, Scorpios. Because like I said, they karma could be that they did you so wrong till you don't even care. They can't even get in contact with you. Because whatever they was out there playing with, Scorpio, that's going to fell apart here. And now that this person did all this growing up and maturing, they, they, they karma could be that it's a day late and a dollar short. You know what I'm saying? Maybe too much hurt has been done. You know, especially if this person was an a-hole a here. And y'all soulmates too, but like I said, you know, you get tired of it. I feel like this person trying to come in and establish a relationship uh, when it's too late here, Scorpio. See, this person, see, they trying to come back now. The Hierophant and the Six of Cups, but like I say, y'all, maybe this person took so long. Maybe y'all got the person on block and y'all trying to ignore this person. Y'all going on here, but I feel like for some of y'all, 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 y'all not going to trust this person. So now you got the Ace of Wands. Spirit, what's up with this Ace of Wands? You got the Ace of Wands twice. Spirit, what's up with this Ace of Wands for Scorpios? Ace of Wands. They go to Eight of Wands again. See, I tell you, they trying to get to you. See, there it is again. But you see, see, it seems like your person, I don't know, I, I feel like, I feel like you, you love them differently. I feel like the way you love this person was, is different. You, the way you love this person is a more spiritual connection. It's like you, it's like your soul is involved because like I say, you got the eight of wands twice. You got the ace of wands twice. But I feel like they got a person over here that's the queen of wands. So, but you're the queen of cups. So it's almost like it's something different about your love, obviously, that they're not getting from this other person. The other person, I feel like, is, just, is matching their energy because they, it's almost like they're the king and queen of wands there. But the difference is, is that you two have this two of cups connection here. And this other person is, is just is an is a option that your person was intimate with for that reason. Like, I feel like that. But even then, it seems like you still win is what I feel like. Because that they're, they're, they're willing to turn down this other partner here to come to you to give it all to you. I'm just saying now. You want this tab. I'm just saying. They trying to leave the other one alone. That's what I'm saying. It must be something special about you. Because this is clearly who they have been intimate with over here. But they're choosing to walk away and leave it to come to you. Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. Because like I say, this person don't want to be with this person, but they're going to want to be with you. Now, some of y'all don't want this person. Y'all going to make it harder. Like I said, they can't even get to you. For some of y'all, you got them so blocked. You're so blocked out from this person. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Ace of Wands for Scorpios? Two of Wands, see? Because like I feel like this person's been planning. This person feels like you're the one for them. This person feels like you're the right partner for them. After, like once again, because these cards keep coming up like this. After whatever they were else what they was in, it's coming to a, a horrible ending here. Very hard, rough. Somebody leaving something else. I feel like it's leaving something else here. All right, Spirit, Ace of Wands. Got the Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the freaking Two of Wands. Oh, this you? Oh, this is you. That's what I was wondering. That's what I was wondering. So what? That's what Spirit is saying. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my God, because with the nine of pentacles, for some of y'all, it's not a third party. It's just that somebody here just didn't want to didn't want to give up. They they single cause because you the king, queen of rods, too. That's you. you. This is your twin flame. See, this is your, your person here. Yes, 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 your person here. But your person only wanted the queen of wands out of you. That's all they was catering to. They wasn't catering to this queen of cups. Now, what this what is represented is that this person here is saying that they're walking away from anybody else who got in the way. And this could have been inner conflict here because I feel like somebody was fighting night settling down with you because I know it has to be you because you got the Ten of Cups, the Tower card, 
Three of Swords, the Fool card, Eight of Pentacles, see, and the Queen of Wands, and the Lover's card. So see, I feel like y'all was having relationship problems, so you had to walk away. Now this could be you walking, it could be you walking away over here too. That's what could be you walking away from this person. It probably was hard for you to do. You walked away from this person here because you feel like you had to fight for their attention because somebody was feeling themselves and that's, that's what I feel like it is. Now, I feel like they entertained other options here, but they had everything they could possibly want in you. They was attracted to you. Oh, okay, I see what this little spirit is saying is that, like I feel like there was a very strong chemical, chemical, <laughs> a physical attraction. There's a lot of magnetic attraction there. Y'all must have fell in love, okay? That's what changed everything. You fell in love, and I feel like this person didn't want that. Because this person was like, well, God dang, we all right. It's the king and the queen of wands. So, why, you know, like I said, this person wasn't taking this serious. The page of wands and the ace of wands. They, they was into the queen of wands, king of wands energy. But like I say, some of y'all, y'all see there, y'all y'all can't handle, see, y'all, somebody, look, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you see, you see the one. Y'all done fell in love with it. That's what changed, Scorpios. That, that changed everything is when you fell in love because now you're asking for this person to change. You're asking somebody to change the rules because you fell in love is what I feel like, Scorpios. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's sweet, but I feel like you're asking somebody to, cha uh, to, to, to make, uh, make some adjustments to the rules because you done caught feelings now. And this person was like, now look, now you know what this was about. See, and I feel like you had a lot of fun with this person, but you fell in love with this person, Scorpios. And I feel like you had to walk away from this person because I feel like you got your feelings hurt once again because you're the one that fell in love. See, with the soulmate. Because in your mind, they your soulmate. When Scorpio get done with you, you're going to be the Scorpio soulmate because she going to Scorpio so love so strong. She going to suck you in, baby. You're going to end up being a soulmate, see? They're watching you because you put an end to things. But some of y'all are keeping tabs on them, too, because this is the person you was in love with here. See? This is them over here. You, like I say, y'all, the page of swords is facing each other, but this is them watching you. They're just as heartbroken as you are, but they also recognize that they've caused a heartbreak because this is somebody here that need to make some changes or somebody didn't want to acknowledge that they do have emotions for you. It's almost like somebody wanted to get what they want out of the relationship, but something has changed. You changed. You fell in love, Scorpios. I feel like you fell in love and it changed everything. Now I feel like this person started being kind of detached and kind of standoffish here, Scorpios. But it's all because this person needed to make their own changes in their life because this person was walking or was trying to uh, uh, get away with this. This person didn't, didn't want to own up to uh, them not doing you right because I feel like somebody didn't do you right here but I feel like they're trying to come back and make it up to you though and I feel like this eight of wands this nine of wands this person is wounded here king of wands I feel like their pride and their ego is wounded now because you done walked away from them now you was giving them emotional and you was giving them physical and emotional strength See, now this person wants to come in and, and give things. Now, now they want to invest. Now they want to be generous to the relationship. Because once again, you got the eight of pentacles. They're, they want to work on it. They want to work on it is what I feel. And the reason why they're doing this, because when you fell in love, when you fell in love, it changed everything. But it's, gonna, it's making your person have to change, too. But this is the change that they needed, because I feel like somebody probably was kind of arrogant. Only after for what they wanted here, Scorpios. And I feel like you had to walk away. Where's the card? You had to walk away from this person. Where is it? Here, right here. I feel like you ended things with this person. You're trying to walk away from your emotions from this person, because I feel like it was hard. Because I feel like this, I feel like you were dealing with inner conflict. And then again, you could have been saying that you had to compete for this person's attention here. Because you got the will of fortune, the seven of cups, and the emperor, and the, the knight of cups. This person needs to make up their mind who they want. Because almost like you were, I feel like you, it's almost like you met somebody here who never wanted love. 
Okay, you met somebody here who maybe it was good at first for however you was getting down, the king and the queen of wands. But like I say, Scorpio fell in love, and now here somebody is having to be held accountable. <laughs> so you done walked away from this person, you done ended things here, Scorpio, with this connection here. Because once again, I feel like it was just too much confusion. Then you may have walked away because it just got to be kind of too uh, aggressive. You maybe guys was fussing and arguing a lot here, Scorpios, because your feelings got into You know how it is when your feelings involve. <laughs> So your feelings get all involved and now you done change everything. You ain't this queen. You ain't this mellow, uh, have fun type of energy. But they're trying to come back to you once again because you got the eight of wands twice, ace of wands, eight of wands, two of wands, and the queen of wands. See, they're trying to come to you now. So that's what it is. Like I said, it was okay in the beginning until you fell in love. You fell in love. Now you got the Ace of Cups, your last card here. So this is why this person's trying to come in as the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, because I feel like this person wasn't giving nothing but the one, okay? And I feel like it was okay at first. You messed around and fell in love, Scorpio. And I feel like, to be told, I feel like they did too, but they didn't want to rock the boat. They said, look, yeah, I know I'm in love too, but ain't no need us. Why we got to change? I mean, yeah, we both in love, but still, what, what, what that mean? <laughs> what that mean we in love? So that mean that what? What, what that mean? I, I can't be single? <laughs> oh, snap. All right, Spirit. Ace of Cups for Scorpios. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands twice. Ace of Swords is what you have in here. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Cups. Three of Wands here. This is the future here, planning here. And see, I feel like this is what this person is planning. This person is planning on a future with you. I feel like this person wants to come to you or this person sees a future with you. See, there it is again. Six of Cups. <laughs> see? <laughs> And that freaking hierophant, there it is. See, it's like they finna come in, cause like I feel like they was getting it from you anyway. <laughs> it's just that they probably wasn't ready to fall in love, god dang. It was like, I wanna have fun first. You ready to fall in love already? <laughs> and you want to skip right on to the love. And they was like, yeah, but I wanted to just have a little bit more fun first. But you was like, uh-uh, I'm in love already, so come on. <laughs> And they had to catch up, okay? That's what I feel like. Somebody had to catch up with your love because you fell in love too soon. Everything was okay. You guys were having a lot of fun. There was a lot of you-know-what going on, a lot of fun times together, but you messed around and caught feelings and it changed everything. And then you caused your person to have to up their game and to change too, Scorpio, if they really want you. And I feel like for whoever this for, this person really does want you and they're going to come for you, Scorpio. And they're going to come give you their relationship because after all they say everything is good about you Scorpio is what they say <laughs> they say everything is good over here <laughs> all right Scorpio this is your reading so if it resonates please like share and subscribe thank you guys so so much for your support I appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you so so much Scorpios thank you so much Scorpios and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video Bye, Scorpios.